Hey, what's up guys? It's me and Tegi Gamer. Welcome to my let's play of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. So guys, I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this game. This game is one game that's very close to my childhood. The GameCube was like my first system that I really, really, really wanted and got for like my birthday, I think, from a cousin. He was like, I know you want the GameCube badly. So bam, here's a GameCube. You can have mine. I'm going away and I don't need it. So... I guess shout out to my cousin Glenny who gave me his GameCube. That's my GameCube now. But I'm playing this on the Wii. So I can record this. But thanks for being awesome, cousin Glenny. Anyway, anyway guys. This game spawned from a gimmick, sort of. Um, where. Because you're actually supposed to use these this bongo controller. And originated from a originated from a rat rhythm game called Donkey Konga. Then in between Donkey Konga 1. And Donkey Konga 2, by the way, they made a Donkey Konga 2, they made this, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, which is a spin-off platforming game, and it is so much fun, guys. I'm gonna have so much fun let's playing this. Basically, the whole gimmick of this game is to collect as many bananas as you can. Now, since I don't, I'm not using the bongas, I tap the B button on my GameCube controller to uh, run and then use the left stick to move in the direction I want to run in. Use A to jump. And I mash uh, the flick the C stick to make Donkey Kong clap or pound his chest in the C sticks. Doing this allows him to grab bananas insanely fast. Oh, as you can see there, I grabbed like all the bananas at once and I'll be able to explain this on later in the game. Uh, but you guys may notice I have a combo I'm building up here. Whoops, I messed that up. I'm gonna try this again. I'll try this. Basically, combos are like having a multiplier. Oh, I know what to do. Maybe I can't be caught. There we go. Figured out how to do backflip though. But the reason I'm doing this is to get the maximum amount of bananas. Because like I said, the higher combo you have, the bigger multiplier. So there, there were like five bananas there, but I got 35 instead because I had a combo of four. The combos were doing various things like wall jumping, backflipping, jumping off the of ropes like these monkeys down here. Have these monkeys propel you. Come down here though, because there are some enemies we can kill. Even more banana y goodness. Just a couple more bananas. But with that, guys, we're practically done with this level. Trying to get a combo here. So let's do it, guys. Let's go to the giant banana. Oh, I have to clap. Yeah. That's basically the gist of how this game works, guys. Just collect as many bananas as you can. But you're wondering, what's my health? Well, if you couldn't figure it out on your own, guys, your health are the number of bananas you collect. So you gotta really be careful about how much damage you take. Because this game is all about collecting, like I said, as many bananas as you can. So you want to try your darn hardest not to lose any bananas. Yeah, I've been practicing this game a crud ton. I even practiced it, playing it uh, with. Oh, wait a minute. If I do it this way, no, I'm doing mine. I don't need to be tricking myself out this early in the game. I pra. Oh wait, I actually want to try to keep my combo there. Okay, let's see if I can actually. Never mind. Oh! Oh, I'm not keeping. No, I didn't keep my combo. Oh well. But, um, yeah. Again, like I said, I was saying earlier, the game is gonna be, you know, really easy in this first part. But, uh, it definitely gets a lot more fun as the game goes on. Also, you get to pummel the shit out of enemies. Excuse my French, if I offended somebody. Let's see, I think I can get this if I do my backflip. Ooh, yeah, I did. 
More bananas. Yeah, you want to collect as many as you can. Because like I said, they're, they're your points. And they're also, like, to help you beat the game and stuff. As I'll explain once we're done with this kingdom. But I just should have mentioned that as well. Um, we're on the banana kingdom. E uh, the kingdoms are basically like your worlds. There's two levels per kingdom. And then you have a boss fight at the end. So, pretty nice pace. I have to say so for myself. Okay, let's just land on this jelly. And bam. 130 bananas. Also, I, I do have to say, you have to be careful. You're not invincible uh, when you have your combos. Um, if you get hit during a combo, you will lose every banana you collected during that combo. So if you saw there, guys, I had 25 bananas in that combo. Or 22 there. If I were to get hit for whatever reason during that combo, I'd lose every single one of those bananas. So you gotta be very careful not to get hit when you got a combo. Especially when you got, like, combos of 9 and you're collecting bananas. It can get crazy. Well, with this, guys, we're already coming to our first boss of the game. With an astounding 797 bananas. And up against this, guys, is Dreadcon. So throughout the boss, we're, uh, boss, throughout the game, we have a couple of these boss fights that are very Street Fighter-esque, where we fight other Kongs. And they're just like when you're fighting some of the other enemies in the game. Just wait for an opening and dodge and then pummel the crap out of them. I was too slow on that. There we go. That's a better rhythm. Alright, now we're at least halfway through this guy. There we go. That's a better way to do it. Oh, oh crap. I got hit. So, sadly, I'm not going to perfect this, but not the end of the world. Oh, literally, like, one more hit. Three punch combo. Who am I, Little Mac? <laughs> and with that, guys, we defeated Dread Kong and are kings of the Banana Kingdom. Yeah, we only lost 10 beats. That's not too bad. So at the end of every kingdom, the game will count up your beats or bananas. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. I think I might have lost uh, uh, the gold crest. Depending on how many beats you get, you get a crest. Think of these as like the stars of this game. You need to collect a certain amount of bananas to be able to get a certain amount of crest. I think 800 was the amount I needed. So I might redo the Banana Kingdom off screen. As you can see, guys, kind of like in Super Mario 64, once you have a certain number of crests, you can proceed. I don't know if you guys can hear that music outside. But Dad got this really neat uh, record player. Um, maybe I'll have a picture of it on Twitter by the time this is up. It's really cool. But sadly, we need three quests for this last kingdom. But we unlocked the Orange and Watermelon Kingdom. So, I think we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do two kingdoms per episode. So let's hop into the Orange Kingdom. So here, we have Sil Silver Snow Peak, and we're riding this elk. I think it's an elk. So these are really neat levels where, like I said, we ride this elk. And we try to collect bananas in the ice. These are the craziest. Anyway. Let's go! Also, I don't know if I explained the flowers, because I was too, like, not too, too confused having fun. Basically, you collect a hundred flowers and you get a hundred bananas. Simple as it goes. I gotta love this because you really have to multitask on like these stages. So that way you don't get hurt and you keep collecting bananas. If I remember correctly from what I practice, if I break this I should get some more bananas. Come on. Yep, hundred. One hundo. Alright. Yeah. Man, this series is going to be so much fun. I'm going to try to be so much of a perfectionist during this because I really want to get as many bananas, not as many bananas as possible because uh, I won't say too much so I don't spoil anything, but the bananas are very important. Well, the, the crests are important, but the bananas lead to you getting the crests. Anyway, at the end of elk riding levels, we have two different mini games. Oh, I didn't meet the best jump. Darn it. 
And they're both about seeing how far you can go, and the farther you go, you get free bananas off of it. Anyway, we'll have more, um, oh man, my C-Stick is acting up. But anyway, we'll have some more levels like that later on. Alright, I think this is a good level where we can get a pretty good combo started. But yeah, some of my friends are like, how, how? How are you less playing this, Thomas? This game is evil without the bomb goes. And I'm just like, I'm a real man. <laughs> but we're gonna have some fun. I promise you guys. Oh, I didn't mean to go back in there. I wanna. Oh wow, I can't actually like physically make it back. Oh well. I don't wanna lose my combo. I got a combo five. Wow. That's great. Yeah, like I said, guys, let me jinx myself, though. We cannot get hit whatsoever, otherwise we lose our combo. And all the bananas. The noise, we got 217, which means I think, yep, we're clear for gold rank. Sweet. All right. Let's try to get as many as possible. Because, fun fact, there is another ranking besides oh wow that's really that's a pretty big tease all right wait 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 for it wait for it we go down again did i get the bananas i don't think i did oh whatever oh well we still get these bananas but we're not gonna get as many oh whoops wait a minute Alright, just want to get those last bit of bananas. Gosh, I'm so OCD about things. Alright, bear with you guys. Let's eat our orange! Whoop! Nice! And then we have over a thousand beats. Although I do not think I have enough to clear what I'm trying to clear. But we'll see at the results screen. Alright, guys. We have our first new boss, Scruffhawk. I have to admit though, I really like the boss designs in this game, they're really neato. Rather than- oh crap, no, I don't want to be getting hit. Rather than fighting Kong every boss, he has these really neat new characters. Although, I have- I do have one nitpick about them, but we'll talk about that later throughout the game. You guys will understand why when you see what I mean. Yeah, for whatever reason though, Rockhawk's source of health is this black sphere that he's holding underneath him. And that's his source of health. Oh wow, I defeated him. I really defeated him fast. But um, these first bosses are, like I'm saying, really, really easy first bosses. So, not too bad, not the end of the world, but as we progress, stuff will get more difficult and I will rage at this game. Oh, just wait till the Battle of Storm Hill. I, tr I tried practicing that on my own, guys. That's gonna be fun. But wow, we beat this kingdom in four minutes. I need to slow down. Gotta go fast. <laughs> I'm not Danky King. Yeah, I don't think I got enough. But we got enough for a gold crest. And I bet you're wondering what I didn't get enough for, guys. Well, on top of gold crests, you can get platinum crests. I believe you need at least 1,200 bananas to clear that. But hey, at least I could get a, a, a gold crest in this first recording session. So with that, guys, we're able to unlock the final kingdom in the D-Barrel. The D-Barrel. Yes, we already know this game. I explained it already. But with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. So if you guys enjoyed this first episode of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Thunderbolt that like button, or in this case, clap the hell out of that at like button. Subscribe, comment, subscribe. I can't talk. Oh, my puns are killing me slowly. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!